Hey, everybody. Once again, Cricket Strips Farm. And you may be wondering what you're looking at here. I just wanted to give you the full picture of what's going on with our little Daisy the Rudy Crow series at this point. Um, this is actually the incubator and the rest of her one, two, three, four, five, six eggs that had been left over. Um, that she was unable to um, sit on due to the chick that had hatched that was running all over the place. She was having to keep track of it. Um, sure I had to eat and drink and I don't know, maybe she even thought these eggs were no longer viable. She'd been sitting on them um, for quite some time and because they had been laid by several different quail, I think they were going to be hatching over a series of days rather than all at the same time so they were cold they had been um, left long enough to get cold and I thought they may well no longer be viable but I figured I'd give them a chance um, so I put them in here yesterday um, and at this point uh, number one hatched and as you all know by watching the YouTube video I took a risk I let it dry a little bit in the incubator, so I got at least a little bit of a chance um, to where it would be freezing cold if I put it in with her, but I took a chance and I put it in with her, and she immediately took it and put it underneath her. It took the chick a couple of minutes to catch on what was going on, but she did a little quail call and taught it what a mother's call sounded like. I'm sure they've been hearing her through the eggs um, this whole time that she's been sitting on them. So they, um, they aren't really incubator eggs. So, um, that, that was what part of my hope was too, is they're already used to hearing their mama quail through their little egg shells. So, um, I know I'm kind of rambling here. Um, so I put the first one in. I've come over here now, and there's another one over here in the incubator. I think what I'll do is I'll let it dry off a little bit as well. Um, these are looking to be, let me see what its egg looks like. The first one definitely came from a celadon egg. This one did as well. So these are coming from the blue speckled eggs. And you can't really tell when they're wet, but this is looking to be either a Balfi or a Grouphy chicky, so I definitely would like them to survive. Um, really hard to tell at this age, but it, it kind of looks like that might be what it is. The very first one I got is either an Italian or um, Manchurian, and I'm definitely down to my last five of those, so I really wanted that one to survive. So we'll give this guy a little while to dry off. We'll see if she will accept this one as well. I'm thinking she might. The risk I'm taking by opening the incubator and grabbing these guys real quick each time is you know, always, uh, you're taking the chances of the rest of the eggs that are in there. But I'm being as, those are the other eggs that are left. I'm just kind of taking that chance because I would rather continue this little experiment with her um, and I feel like it didn't shrink up in this time so I was really happy to see that I don't think it's going to if I'm quick and like I said these weren't these weren't um, started in the incubator they were started under the hen so maybe that has something to do with it I don't know so there's our little hatch baby that's only been in the incubator for, you know, I've lost track of time. I feel like maybe 24 hours, but it hears me talking. They definitely react if they hear you. That was me tapping on the lid. Hi, Tiki. See, they know when you're there. So... I, I don't feel comfortable taking it out wet. I probably could since she keeps them right underneath her, but because she has to get up with the other two chicks too frequently, I really don't want to leave it with her all wet yet. I'll let it dry a little bit. 
So wish us luck. We'll see how this goes and I'll give you guys an update with her once this one is in there with her. We'll check in later guys.